My name is Annie Zhang, and I'll be taking you through a critical playthrough of Argon Chalice, uh, our game by Studio C. Let's start the game. So here are some instructions, chapter, visual, visual novel system that the player can story in. I will not be going over too much of the story as it takes a lot of time. Me, and then, uh, myself. Basically the gist right now is that there's a piece of a kingdom and the princess is uh, going to get coronated today. Uh, the audio is a little loud so we'll turn it down a little bit. There we go. Uh, as you can see here is our settings page. You exit, be sure to enter by you pressing escape. You can see all the controls. So here we're introduced to a tutorial level. Uh, to jump, uh, movement, and once you proceed to the coronation door, we can have our first fallback structure where you can go coronation works for the hallway. So, demonstrate abilities. So, now the princess can go ahead and talk to some people outside the hallway. So this is our NPC system uh, where you can talk to people and learn a little more about the uh, story or just the kingdom itself. So here we can also talk to our aide, the guy who has raised us. Very nice guy. Okay, so now we'll proceed to our coronation. coronation. So here uh, we just have a more story. Basically, uh, the princess gets coronated by the king and receives the Argon Chalice, a symbol of the country. So unfortunately, on the princess's 18th birthday, the king succumbs to illness. And the princess is very sad, and the aide suggests the princess go take mind off it by going uh, traveling. But here, as we see, princess has to travel, but oh no, she encounters assassins. Oh, what a shame. So unfortunately, the carriage falls off a cliff, and I guess she's dead. But no. Um, the Argon Chalice saves her life. What a surprise. But in the process, the Argon Chalice loses all its powers. Now the princess has to recover all the gems and go back to her kingdom. So here you can see our first level. Uh, in this level, uh, we have the same movement controls. You can press F to talk to villagers. As you can see here, this is a little hint on the story later. Um, it's a, our game is a puzzle platformer, so the player solves puzzles and proceeds through the game. Puzzle, solving puzzles is a reward we have planned. And here, this, uh, these spirit guides serve as a, a progress uh, or a goal source to tell the player, you know, what you need to do to finish the level. So in this one, you need to grab the gem of wood. So here, we introduce mechanics of science, which is very organic. But here we can see an enemy, and enemy is bad, so we need to jump over it. And next, uh, we have arrived at her little platforming section. So it's a puzzle platformer, so it's equally both. But here we're also introduced to the vine, where you can climb with W, and the thorn, which you need to jump over as it's bad. So here, as we can see, we're missing a box. How do we get that? Climb up this guy. So a player could just push the box down, but there is actually a secret here. You can get a collectible. Now we can go ahead and push this box down and solve the puzzle. Which gets us a key. But you might ask, what does the key do? Let's go find out. Here, if you didn't go up that path, you encounter this door, which tells you you need a key. So this could be, yeah, a uh, fall back there. Uh, enemies. And the player is introduced to the moving platform. You get these little signs. So we'll have to wait for this one to come down. This one sometimes takes a little. As these are the tutorial platforms, well, not the first level, so they're very uh, slow. This is the player can get used to them. So here we have another puzzle. We realize, hey, we need to get this over there to a pressure plate. But how do we get it? We fill the gap, and we grab the second box, and here we go. We push it onto the platform. So now we're introduced to our first uh, power, our gym. So this gym allows you to do an air dash by pressing shift. 
and space lets you gain some height. So now the mechanics in this level will utilize this gym. Because you will not make those jumps without this uh, dash. And if you ever forget your controls, you can go ahead to instructions. And they're right here. You can enter the controls of this game. As every uh, normal game would. Okay, and now we're going to keep on following. Um, we can jump over this enemy much easier. And we see a sign that tells us we're nearing the next level. So our second level, as you can hear, music has changed. This is a filler level. Our game is comprised of filler and main levels. Uh, main levels allowing the player to grab gems, a power up, and filler levels that fill the gaps in between each level, allowing the player to use their power ups. So the uh, you'll see in the second where we have to push down this box to solve this puzzle. So we will push this guy. Oh, there we go. And it opens those sort of keys. So you could just go back up, or we can go left here, where you'll see there is a platform here. It's a secret platform. And we'll have to utilize our dash ability to get for all these platforms. And to this villager, which tells us there's treasure behind this door. We see a collectible, but how do we get it? As we've already been introduced to the um, pressure plate, we'll understand that. And since it's a secret, we do not actually provide players with uh, whether or not there is a platform here. They have to catch it themselves. So here we'll push our box on top of the platform. Oh, oh, oh no, I got to push the box down. The, the box uh, physics are sometimes a little janky. So let's push it off. And put it there. And we've collected our second collectible. And now we would have to go back the way we came. All the way back. <laughs> All right. So now we can. Oh, I barely missed it. So now we can go back uh, while we're waiting. Um, I'll talk a bit more about our games. As you can see, this is a checkpoint, so it resets your spawn point once you hit one. There's also animation state change, as you can see, um, as well as these. Um, let's see signs that indicate that there is a moving platform so the player knows uh, what to expect and not just jump off the edge but these moving platforms requires us to do a little dashing and more dashing and a little bit more dashing so as you can see here we have some more uh, platforming mechanics and this one, where you have to air dash over the thorn. And voila. Oh, I did not make that. <laughs> and let's try that again. Okay, and we just need to jump and press up key of W at the same time. Perfect. So now we unlock this door and here the player's face of a choice. The player can read the sign, like either Feral Plains if, or if they choose to go up, they can go to Spectral Canyon, which we will do. So here we have another NPC to talk to, which grants us the gem of sight, which allows us to see hidden obstacles or keys. But as you can see, that is a puzzle to get from here. As you know, we can only have one gem at a time. We press Q and E to switch that. Here, we can go through here and reveal even more. So normally a player would see, oh, but there's a there's a key. How do I get it? You activate your ability. Okay, after that is done, we can see there's more platform here. So we will have to jump, deactivate, get another platform, jump, activate. Jump, deactivate, and here. Oh, sh I creeped off the platform myself, it would seem. So, we'll do jump, deactivate, jump, activate, jump, deactivate, switch to our dash ability, and dash across the map. 
and oh the enemy but if you have the sight gem active you actually see there's some extra uh, stuff here this one allows us to grab another collectible perfect and you can skip this enemy completely by doing this little puzzle so as you can see here we have platforms oh but where do we go we turn on the sight as we can see, oh, there's more platforms on the right. That was a lucky save. Here, we can climb up this little vine. Ignore that. Jump over here. Lock the door. And proceed to our next filler level. Which is Allison's Cave. So we are now here. And we are free to use both our gems. So, just stay on the wind gem for now, as it's... Probably the most useful one. One of the two for now, and we'll proceed through this level. Uh, let's see, we have to go through, jump on that, jump on here. Gotta use an air dash, or... Ah! Okay, we'll wait for this platform to drop. Jump here. Oh boy, <laughs> I went too far. Oh my gosh. Jump on here, jump on here. Wait for that to drop a little. Doing air dash. <laughs> I'm not very good at this level, it seems. There we go, perfect. Now we can drop down here, talk to the villager, who thinks there's a tunnel down here, which uh, I already know that exists, so we'll just head down here. And we'll go ahead. And, oh. Complete this little guy. Oh my gosh. I am not very good at our own game, you would see. Go. There we go. Grab a fourth collectible and get the heck out of here. Oh, oh well, we can also just respawn. Oh, catch the platform. Nice. Okay. So now we'll head outside of this level and we'll just proceed to the end of. I forgot to jump. We'll <laughs> proceed to the. Try to proceed to the next level. Okay, perfect. I navigate this. Up on this platform. A little resting area here for us. Up on this platform. And jump off. And we can see there's a little bit more of these puzzle platforms. Oh. Jump here. Jump here. Jump here. Jump here, jump here, and we finish this level. And here we have two choices again. Here. Go ahead and come here. So a warning sign for enemies, so we must hop on these enemies to survive. So now we talk to our guide, which tells us there it's an enemy-based level. Jump through these things. Wait for our platform. Go ahead and hop over more enemies. Just swap to our gem just in case. And then collect our gem, which now we can use Q and E to swatch powers, which we already did. And to kill this bunny with V. There we 
go. As you can see, there's sound effects for that. But here's a puzzle. If you push this, the bunny will not let you. So you would have to kill the bunny first. Then grab our guy and come up here. And it's a little mini boss fight. Two, three, four. Oh, oh it's five HP. Uh, come here. Kill the boss. And we can proceed to the next level. So here is another fill level. Swap back. Again. See here. Jump here. And we have the site gym. See, there is actually a secret passage up here to a collectible, which you would be able to reach with a different path, but um, it requires you to go for a lot more stuff, which we will not do. So we'll do the easy way. As for the checkpoints, solve some puzzles. Okay, hop on the plat. Up. Oh. <laughs> hop on the platform. Over here. Over here. And solve this puzzle. Which lets us. Grab this key. And use our gems to get the gap and now finish the level. Okay, and since it's the last level, we no longer have a choice, so we just have to finish the last power up. Darian's Cliff. Here we introduce their guardian. And I will go ahead and speedrun this level for you. Solve more puzzles. Shoot. Let's see, there are checkpoints. Yeah, I'm not as big this game, it would seem. Maybe it's just the pressure of the video getting to me. Uh, okay, now we have a little lock-based puzzle here. So, as you can see, there's three of them, but hmm, we don't have two boxes. Well, you know what? Let's push them down and see what happens. So, by triggering both boxes, open the first door, which allows us to push the third box to unlock the Earth Gem. By pressing R, we can now spawn rocks, which acts the same as boxes. Which gives us very creative ways to get past things. You can see there's enemies here. We'll just jump over them like that. Like that. There we go. And we can also use boxes, mobile objects, to get past obstacles. Like this. Here, with the key, we'll open the door, and this will conclude the main gym levels of the game. Which leads you to the Highlands, where you'll meet the four guardian animals. We'll congrats you on finishing the trial, and now, after this, you'll be able to use all your powers at once without uh, the limitation of swapping. Now, you gotta go back to the castle with the powers. Let's go. Final chapter, confrontation. So uh, the princess after a long journey goes back to the castle, blah, 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 finally makes it back to the edge of the forest, but oh no, something is wrong. The color is green. Why is it green? Hmm, I have no clue. Let's go find out. Upon entering the castle, the princess is met with the aide, who has a crown now. So, ooh, look, these are some interesting dialogue. And the princess basically says, uh, finds out that the aid was behind everything. Oh, bad guy. And here's some stuff that you could read. Yeah, it turns out that they killed the king and tried to kill the princess as well. So now the, uh, he calls his guards to have our final chase scene where every ability is unlocked. So I can attack, I can dash, I can summon rocks, and I can use sight. 
beat all these bad guys. So we have to use a combination of our abilities to get through this level. Now we can dash while Sight is active. But let's see. We have to turn on Sight to get through this part. Like that. And here we have to air dash. Go ahead and fight this knight. And the key will open this door. Fight more knights. Turn on side here if we like. Oh, summon box here, which opens that door, and we can dash over. Oh no! <laughs> Air dash into the enemy, so we have to wait for enemy to look back and strike him while it's weak. No, there's another one. <laughs> I, I forgot. But no fear, they don't respawn. Oh, so we here we have to get our key. Wait for the enemy to turn around. Okay. This one might be a little tricky. I think we can actually just... Oh. Oh. Yeah. Precisely land ourselves edge of this platform. He cannot reach us and hit him. Let's go. Unlock the final door and go confront the aid again. So here the players offer two choice. We'll spare him, and there's also the kill him choice. So as you can see, there's a cutscene sparing the aid, and the kingdom returns to peace. Since we collected five of bonus, we'll go into the bonus chapter. So it's a little Easter egg from King. And that's the purpose of the collector. Yep. Back to the start. Thank you for watching. My name is Andy, and this is our demo of Argon Chalice.